Apologies from Ethan and uh, Eddie, Eddie, gone. Okay, the um, and um, Tush, obviously, no apologies from that. Okay, now was um, told to stay, he opted to go. Okay, I haven't got much to say, boys. You already know what I thought about that game. Um, thank you just for not giving up on me, boys. You and I made some calls that were uncalled for, but um, thank you for just trusting me throughout the game. Um, we can only go up from the area, boys. We can only go higher. Boys, look, I deserve that. We play like crap. All right. You can you can say a lot of learnings. Uh, you can say set piece, but at the end of the day, overall, we played like crap, and they deserve the win. One thing I will give you guys: well done now in the after match function, because um, you guys could have been like a sore loser or like someone else that didn't turn up, like I make now. Um, we lose, we all lose together. Um, now we'll probably think from this thing. Okay, I'm just giving you guys a heads up now. Okay, because um, I gave them instructions to stay. We all, we all feel like shit because we lost. You know, at least stay with the team. All right. Um, he still had his duties to finish off here, and then we just got to prepare for life without nah. See anyone have any objections? Give me your feedback, man. Don't know. That's fair. Hardly. Longer. That's it. I'm sure. I'm sure. Okay, I'll make your mind up for you guys then. I could, I could sit back, right? And I can look at all the excuses to help you guys out and, and, and defend you guys. Someone, a coach said to me, uh, with Mika and with Naz, it's the age. And I thought, on the day, I thought, yeah, it's a three year plan. We're still trying to develop these guys. But uh, when I got to Sunday, I actually said to myself, stuff that shit, man. In 1A, there is no age. You just front up. First 15 rugby, I'm not using age as an excuse. Since you didn't want to tackle Mika, three other guys were trying to cover you. Naz, since you didn't do your job, three other guys were trying to cover you. Since you went getting into the fight, spa, Three other guys were trying to cover your ass. <laughs> hey, listen, listen, boys. There's one rule on defense, eh? It's hit or be hit. So if you're not going to come up and make the hit, these guys, if they run with some passion, they're going to hit you. Does that make sense? Yes, go, 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 but it's only good to where we put ourselves. If we're more aggressive, dogs, we underestimate um, Caucasians, but far, they love the dirty work, G. They love the physicality, the aggressiveness. We're, we're Islander boys, I don't know how it's not built in. It's confidence, G. These guys are aggressive, but it's the confidence. Yeah, bro, so. You aware of what happened on Saturday with Mark? No. Okay. Then after the game in the change room, he's leaving and he's not on his numbers. And he asks me, can I, um, can I go home? I've got a birthday party to go to. And I said, no. Um, you can go after match first, and then you can, straight off the speeches, then you can go home. Um, so he chose not to turn up. Um, Unless he's got that mentality that he's he's the golden child. Oh yeah, that's it, yeah. You know, and then he thinks he can do whatever he yeah. wants because he knows yeah. that we need him more than the other way around. How you been, bro? Missed oh. you the last three days. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. Oh. And um, sent you a message. You off messenger now? Oh no. No? Okay. And why didn't you respond to me then? Oh, I was this close to cutting you, bro. 
but you're lucky I had a bit of time to think about it. Wills, is there anything you want to say on behalf of the team? Um, don't leave us stranded again. But yeah, we still love you, G. I mean, we still got mad respect for you. We still want you in the team, but that's just the team's antics as well. I think after matching everything comes with it. That's it. What do you do on the field? Is, is, yeah, you know, we see the talent, but the talent is, is, it can be a lot better. could be much better if you sort your shit out off the field. Bro. What, what I could find out from the school, academically, he's no scholar. He finds school tough. He just doesn't like it. He's, he's missing classes and half of the staff body that have given up on him and, and, and fair enough. Yeah, school, he really hasn't really shown any engagement or interest in that and has always been um, not here. And if he is on site, he's not in his classes. So, so I find it really hard to talk about now when I physically haven't really seen him at all this year. The only reason you're at the school, from what I hear and what I've been told over and over by many, teach, many teachers that don't seem to have time for you now, is because you say to them, you're here because of rugby. Is that, fair? Is that a fair comment? Yeah. Yeah. I think so. So if I take the rugby away, what have you got? Yeah. And all I ask is, is, is just be upfront and honest. Mm -hmm. All right? Um, but we need to look at something else as well, the school side. Yeah, I think if he can't do it, he won't do it, sort of thing, because he's too shy. I don't know, but if that was me, I've always told him just ask for help, that's what they're there for. Yeah, okay. And he can do it, because we rely on him more at home to do everything. And I've always told him, like, talk. I don't know, he's still too shy and can't man up. Hey, look, at, at some point it might it'll click. Everyone's different timing in that. But I, I can say one thing with Nah, when he's on the field, he's a different person. That's why I know he has got the smarts. But I refuse to say that you're, you struggle to learn and all that because no, when it comes to bloody on the field, you're like a, sign, you're like a rugby scientist, man. You know your stuff. And your coaching boys, your, when I hear you say certain things to certain boys, it's like, yeah, well, you're taking it. Because uh, uh, how many credits have we got so far? Be honest. On your five. Five. Five's better than four. All right? So it's a start. Okay. Um, we'll, we'll, I'll have a chat with some people and just see what we can do. All you got to do is talk, bro. It's the easiest thing, man. That's why you got a mouth. All right? And a smile. Good on you, man. I decided to contact one of the teachers here, Rene Tuffy, who's doing a new unit with students that uh, have troubles, um, would be fair to say, with uh, a standard classroom of today. It took me eight years of my teaching life to realise we can't keep doing the same old, same old. It hasn't changed significantly. If not, it's gotten worse. I spoke to her about this class that she had and asked if, if we can get nine in there. So there's three opportunities this term. The first one is a hakere, so which is, um, which is just a, a feast. Yep. And through that, he's gonna gain 44 level two credits. Being a Otara girl and TC old girl and that, she's, her heart's in the right place. 80% of our kids don't go to university. They weren't exposed to enough opportunities at school and therefore fell into life um, quicker and fell into it deeper than everybody else. Pretty good, eh? Nice and simple. Different than like schoolwork. Okay. Yeah, more fun. Because in class you're just sitting in there. Big thing for me is, is to prove teachers wrong here and proves himself wrong as well. That he can do it. Now we'll prepare and present a hakere to a group of manuhiri, so visitors. So I want him to prepare a, a, a feast from whom he has respect for. Oh, there's only like 12 people, like my mom, my auntie, and some of the teachers and coach. 
Just wanted to invite them, my favourite teachers. You know, all Pacific Islanders and Māori know how to be of service to someone yes. and they know how to be good hosts. So that's his first strength area. Just teaching him the importance of service and what that means and what that looks like in the world of Māori and that everybody has a role to play. Just trying the dishes now. Making myself useful. As educators, we talk about it in academic terms as in cultural capital. Um, but we don't often dive into that, um, either because we're too, uh, too scared or it doesn't fit the mainstream way of looking at education. We hope you uh, really enjoy the food uh, we made. And, uh, made from scratch. <laughs> Number one, and uh, um, so saying, um, if you make um, something with love, uh, people enjoy it with love. Some of them might come across real tough and all that, but that's just a that's just a mask. But behind that mask is is, is, is young Johnny, young Sione, they actually want to learn. Yeah, he basically cooked over 15 different types of dishes. Um, in the space of about four hours. And then prior to that had completed two chapters worth of, of work. Each chapter has about the equivalent to um, 10 full half an hour lessons. Um, um, that equates to, main, in mainstream education, that, that amount of learning should equate to at least three or four months. Then now what's going, who's gonna, how are you gonna drink off the thing? I know what you mean like this. No, okay. do you want this or this? Uh, they want, if they put this, then they want more. Gee, it's just going to waste the juice and the fruit. Oh, okay, then. He's a lot more confident in, in his ability. Yeah, just, it's just amazing that, that kid. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel to stay up to date with all the latest news from the New Zealand Herald. Click the subscribe button below or check out one of the videos here and head over to nzherald.co.nz for more details on these stories and more.